What's up YouTube, Dar here from Zephyr War Games, bringing you a Gold Pride Punk profile. At the end of the video, I'll also show you a 1.5 card combo that gets this deck rolling, no pun intended. So massive shout out to Rob who helped put this together with me. Uh, I've kind of made a little bit of adaptions to make it as competitive as possible, and the deck is looking very promising. So with all of that out of the way, please smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. If you want to see more additional Gold Pride content, then make sure you get this video above 50 likes in the first 24 hours and I will bring you more test stands or more combos. With all of that out of the way, let's dive head first into this Gold Pride Punk Profile. So we start off with three of the brand new Roller Ball and now you don't actually have to play free but you'll see in the combo how effective it is to play free. So quite like all of the other Gold Pride monsters, if your life points are lower than your opponent you get to special summon this card from the hand. During the main phase, quick effect, you can fusion summon one gold pride fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. You can only use each effect once per turn, and that's how you're going to get into the brand new roller ball lot, which is a very big interruption to your opponent. We are playing two Leon. Now you can play three if you want, but I felt that three was a little bit too much because unlike Roller Baller, Leon actually locks you into Gold Prides when you use its effects. So if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you get to special on this card from the hand. If this card is normal or special, you can target one non-warrior Gold Pride monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Gold Prides. During your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon a synchro monster using only Gold Pride monsters. Now obviously the fusion is a little bit more unique to Rollerballer whereas we'll be able to make synchros during our own turn quite a lot. It's nice to leave Leon on the board if you want to trigger its effect to go into the Gold Pride Leon synchro during your opponent's turn. Um, it is kind of cool as well. The fact of the matter is as well is it lets you get the ability to synchro summon any synchro monster. So if you do hold it back you can actually get into um, a synchro dragon. So you've got Psychic and Punisher and you can get into the amazing Punk Dragon as well. So more overlap synergy. We then play the one Captain Curry. Now, I don't think you need to be playing more than this. It's very easily accessible. You foolish barrel it. It's not the most ideal one because if your life points are lower than your opponents, again, you get to special summon it. If it's normal or special, you add a gold pride trap from the deck to the hand. And the only gold pride trap we are playing is the gold pride start your engines, which is a very go first orientated kind of card. You do get the additional effect that you get to target a Gold Pride monster you control that was special specifically from the extra deck. You banish up to three Gold Pride cards from your graveyard, and if you do, monsters gain uh, that monster gains 500 attack for each card banished. So you can boost all of your monsters, so you can get like a 4500 pinballer. Keep in mind that all of the Gold Pride uh, extra deck monsters, if they've used their effects their turn, tag themselves back into uh, the extra deck, so that will eventually, you're only going to be using this for an OTK push. And then we're playing the one Nitro Head. It's kind of cool that it's a level eight, but on top of that as well, it can also give your opponent a token. And why that's really important is when you look at stuff like Super Heavy Samurai, which want to be placing their cards in specific zones, being able to actually activate Nitro Head to give your opponent a token in that exact zone that they want to be playing into uh, can cause them a lot of issues. Not to mention if you put it in a zone that they have to be putting cards next to it, you have the ability to blow it up and then kind of destroy cards next to it as well. So it's a really kind of cool card. I don't think you need to be playing more than one of it. Um, being able to be very easily searchable and special summon itself as well is very, very cool. Moving on to the punks. Our most consistent one on this one is going to be Z Armin, followed by two Foxy Tune and one Deer Note. So pretty straightforward and simple on this one. Your Foxy Tune is your special summoner, which is your direct access to um, Deer Note. So if your Z Armin does get stopped, the best thing about it is because you're paying life points, which is what this deck wants to do. This deck wants to pay life points. It wants to be able to say, right, okay, now my life points are lower than my opponents. So I can start special summoning my gold prime monsters for free. That's where the synergy comes in. So even if the Armin does get stopped by an Ash, an Imper, and Vela, anything like that, because you've already paid the cost, your gold prides are all still live. Not to mention if you already open up a Foxy Tune, you can just then start special summoning. And that's when you're gonna get access to either a, you'll get access to a level eight synchro, but you can either go down a rank eight play um, going into the Fearon engine, or you can go to a rank three play opening up gold pride options as well. Uh, we then play two of the freest psychic summoners around, and that is, of course, Wielder uh, and, of course, Tracker. So both of these are searchable off of your Jam Dragon, and then the idea is you'll see in the combo at the end that it lets you get into the carry, and the carry will then give you access to all of your gold pride cards. We are playing the Fear on Engine just because you want to be a bit defensive if you don't want to go down that route. Um, this can actually unlock more rank 8 plays if you want to. I go down more of a link, um, link option route because you're able to use fusions, XYZs and synchros. So you can increase your attack, 
decrease your opponent's attack and revive from the graveyard. Not to mention Regulus is just that nice little Omni Negate that you're gonna need in the deck because you don't really go into Omni Negate possibilities. You go more down the route of um, aggressive cards or cards that interrupt or interact more so during your opponent's turn. Uh, and then speaking of the Fear and Engine, we do play the one Disc Coliseum. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with the combo, you go into, so off of your uh, Gold Pride, uh, sorry, your Punk Monsters, you go into Mantis, Mantis Foolish Burials, the Lily. Um, you then bring back the Foxy Tune, you overlay into Sargus. Sargus then searches you out Regulus. Regulus then equips Lily, use Lily's effect to search out the field spell, activate the field spell to get um, Empress. Empress then sums itself down off of Lily. You discard a card, you can then special on the Lily that was attached to Empress. So you've got an additional rank eight or a very nice link two, or an incredibly aggressive board. And then for the final ones, our hand traps, which will lead nicely into um, our e telly as well, is Ash Blossom, Ogre, and Gamma. So the idea behind Gamma and Ogre is the fact they also synergize very, very well with e telly as well as, of course, all of your pump monsters. So you've got a way of getting a hand trap to the board if you want to off of e telly And keep in mind, Ogre can be used on the field and in the hand, which is really important. Uh, and then e telly can also get rid of dead Gammas in the deck um, after a certain point. You can put Lambda in the extra deck as well if you want to, to make this even more consistent. It is a sidekick, so it does have a little bit of synergy, nothing too crazy, um, but you basically just double punish your opponent if they try to Ash or Droll you off of the back of something like e telly or off of something like the back of your Gold Pride, Better Luck, or Crowd Goes Wild. Um, you just double punish them and they will forever regret it and then never attempt to Droll you or Ash you on those particular cards again. Speaking of the spell cards, of course, we are playing Triple e Telly. What a card this is. So glad this is a free for a deck like this. Absolutely love it. Alongside three of the old Gold Pride, The Crowd Goes Wild, and three of the brand new Better Luck Next Time. So, Better Luck Next Time is a continuous spell, which is incredibly good for the deck. So when this card is activated, you get to add a Gold Pride monster from your deck to the hand. And if you do, you lose life points equal to its attack. Which, yes, is a bit painful because you can't use this in the later games if your life points are much lower. But the fact that this on its own is a very nice one card starter to be able to get you into carry. Carry can then get you into the trap card of Gold Pride Start Your Engines. And then off the Start Your Engines, you can get into the Roller Baller. So at the base minimum, you're being able to perform some form of interruption on your opponent. This does allow you to benefit from your Gold Pride effects that put themselves back in the extra deck. Um, if that happens, you get to draw a card. The issue is you can only activate this card once per turn, and the draw effect is a soft once per turn, uh, is a hard once per turn as well. So even if you have multiples, you're not going to be able to draw two, and if multiple of your cards go back. It would have been nice that for each card sent back to the extra deck, you draw a card, um, but it is what it is. And then, of course, the old school, well, I say old school, it's just the last set of The Crowd Goes Wild. You reveal a Gold Prime Monster in your hand and add a Gold Prime Monster with a different name from the deck to the hand. And then you can special summon a Gold Prime Monster from your hand, but lose life points equal to its attack, um, which is very important as well. But the issue is, uh, this one needed another Gold Pride in the hand to do it, whereas Better Luck Next Time basically just says, okay, cool, we'll let you add a Gold Pride. So, great addition to the deck, really, really like it. And then the final two cards are the one Gold Pride that came out of nowhere. So special summon a gold pride monster from your hand or graveyard, then your opponent can special summon one monster from their hand or graveyard to their field, but negate its effects. It's a little bit of a give and take, which is why it's only a one-off. Um, it could very easily be cut if you wanted to as well. And then we've got the one gold pride start your engine. So I've already mentioned this. So if your opponent normal or specials a monster or monsters, target one of those monsters and reveal three gold pride monsters from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon and you shuffle the rest into the deck and that's why you reveal three of the roller baller. Uh, and then that is going to get you into the um, fusion monster as well which causes more of interruption. Speaking of the fusion monster we are playing at two pinballer. The reason this card is so good is annoyingly it does require specifically roller baller but then any gold pride so it's not as easily generic or accessible but it's very easy to make in this deck. If this card is fusion summoned you can equip the face up monsters your opponent controls up to number of fusion materials used and you're going to be using at the base minimum two. Um, you can only use the previous effect once per turn, so it means you can't use it on two effects at all. Um, and if your life points are lower than your opponent's, uh, this effect activation and effect cannot be negated, which is very important. And then once per turn, during the end phase, if this previous effect was activated this turn, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, special on a gold pride roller border from your deck or graveyard. Now in doing so, the equipped monsters would fall off. I don't believe they go back to your opponent, they actually just go to the graveyard, um, which is a very nice kind of form of interruption or steal. And then we've got one chariot. You can very easily place at two, but the idea that these can recycle themselves, you might arguably want to be playing these at one-offs, but it's just one of the ones that if the summon of the first one gets negated, you have the second one. 
So Carry is also a very awesome card that's been added to this deck. So you detach a material from this card to add a gold pride spell directly from your deck, which of course you've got better luck and the crowd goes wild, like insane ones to be adding in general. Um, and then you get to uh, send from the deck to the graveyard if your life points are lower, which it will do through any of your pretty much previous mentioned spells or the punk engine, which is why it's so important. Um, you get to send a gold pride monster from your deck to the graveyard to so you send carry, which means when you search off Leon off of one of the gold pride spells, you're then able to revive it and go into the synchro. You're going to use the previous effect once per turn, and then during the end phase, if the previous effect was activated this turn, return it to the extra deck, and if you do special summon a gold pride specifically, captain carry from your deck or graveyard. Uh, we might as well finish off the gold pride monsters before we finish for the XYZs, and that is of course the one star Leon. So this one has, during the main phase, quick event, target a face-on monster your opponent controls. This card gains attack equal to that target's original attack, and then if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can destroy that monster. You can only use the previous effect once per turn, and if that effect was activated, you return it to the extra deck and special summon a Leon from the deck. Then finishing off the XYZ is the one Sargus, which combos off with the one Mantis. Jam Dragon, Omega, Amazing Dragon, Punisher, and then Crossheep, IP, Nitro Blast, Unicorn, and access code. All pretty straightforward and simple on the back of all of those. The idea is that you're going to be able to go into Cross Sheep at some point. This will then give you the ability when you make the Roller Baller to revive something like a carry or revive something like a Leon. Leon can then give you the ability to Synchro during your opponent's turn if you want to, which is really, really important. Not to mention you can also bring back your Punk Monsters or more so Z Armin, uh, and then you can make your plays again during the next turn. IP can lead you into Unicorn or a very powerful access code. The only issue with access code in this deck at the moment is as you can see, we actually play three darks and one earth. So to get the most out of access code, you're only ever gonna really get two pops. So it might be something you wanna consider changing up or, or going to something else. Maybe something along the lines of uh, Underworld of the Goddess might be a little bit better, purely because then you can start using your opponent's towers to link someone with. Um, and in this upcoming format, that might be something that will be invaluable if a lot of people aren't expecting that to even happen. So that's it for the profile. I'm now going to show you the 1.5 card combo that can get all of this started. The basic two card combo that I'm gonna show you requires access to Z Armin either through itself or emergency teleport and any random discard. So 1.5 card combo, technically. We're now going to start off by normal summoning the Z Armin. You're going to pay 600 life points to search yourself out a Foxy Tune. You're then gonna activate Foxy Tune's effect, discarding itself plus the random card in the hand in order to special summon a Deer Note from the deck. You'll then synchro your Z Armin and your Deer Note to make your Jam Dragons. Chaining one, Jam Dragon to search, chaining two, Deer Note to revive the Z Armin and add the Psychic Wilder or Tracker. Now, if you've already opened up e -Telly in this combo, you can adapt this for a Madam Spider. That Madam Spider can be normal summoned. You pay 600 more life points to search out a dangerous Garbu, and you've just been able to add an Imperm to the board. In this scenario, we're gonna use it the most consistent way, which we went with as the Armin. So you're gonna special summon down the Wilder. You're gonna overlay these two and go into the brand new Chariot Carry. You're gonna use Chariot Carry's effect to detach your material to add Gold Pride, Better Luck next time, and Foolish Burial, carry from the deck to the graveyard. You're then going to be able to activate Better Luck next time, and this will allow you to add your Gold Pride, Leon. Because your life points are lower than your opponents, and you're gonna take an additional 1500 by adding this, you get to special summon down the Leo to the board. Use this effect to revive the carry. At this point, you are now locked into Gold Pride monsters going forward, but that is not an issue. On summon, carry will trigger in order to add a gold pride to start your engines, which you are going to set. You're then going to synchro in your turn the Leon and the Captain Carry and go into a Star Leon. Moving to the end phase, the effect of Chariot, because it used this effect this turn, will put itself back to the extra deck and you'll get the ability to draw off of the better luck next time, as well as being able to revive the carry from the graveyard. You can, of course, summon another carry from the deck, but in the profile, we are only playing one, so that's how we've kind of left it. During your opponent's turn, what you're gonna be doing now is you're gonna be able to activate the Gold Pride Start Your Engines, and the idea on this one is to reveal three of the Golden Baller. Golden Ruler, Golden Baller. So you still have the one drawn card in hand. You'll be able to reveal three of this and special summon it. Now, obviously, it does get a little bit tricky if you have opened up any of these um, because it is randomly chosen. But the idea is that if you get this or even Leon, uh, you can actually quick effect go into a second star Leon should you want to. 
But the idea is that once they've summoned this, you then get to activate the effect of Roller Baller and fuse itself with Carry to go into your Pin Baller. Now, of course, Pinballer will start setting up monsters in the Spell and Trap Zone. You still also have the pop effect of your Star Leon. And if either of these use their effects, they will go back to the extra deck and you'll draw an additional card. Keeping in mind as well, from your opening hand, you would still have three more cards to be playing around with. That any of those are hand traps, more cards that could be set, additional combo pieces, you name it, you can add to the board very easily. So that's the two card combo. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's given you a couple of ideas and a basic start of where to go with Gold Pride. If you want to see more from the deck, whether it be direct test hands or more combos, then make sure you smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to get this video above 50 likes in the first 24 hours. With all of that out of the way, as absolutely always, stay safe, and of course, happy dueling.